Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how to install and set up our Node.js project inside our VS Code editor. Also, do you have a Windows operating system like 10, 11? You can use same logic to install and configure your Node.js project. So without further ado, let's get started to install and configure our Node.js project inside our VS Code editor. Step number one, you need to move on the editor and write the simple command node.js just use node.js once you use the node.js inside the search engine you need to open the first one link that have official website of node.js inside this one which you need to click on get node.js inside there you need to install the node.js inside your operating system in my case i have windows 64 bit so i need to install uh, the ms version like this i don't know download it and once it will download then i will install it once i will install it then i will teach you how you can use the logic to uh, run your node.js project so i need to move on our download section and we are good to go to install that so i think it should uh take time a few seconds i think so guys i'm able to see the installation packages here inside there so just click to next accept and yeah I'm gonna click to next and this is a path or location where you want to install the node.js by default is C program files this is node.js folder name if you want to change that you can click on that and select your path where you want to install it I'm gonna leave the default click to next next and install Wait a couple of seconds to install the Node.js. Now, once you have successfully installed Node.js, then I'm going to click to finish. The next step you need to use cmd and write the node-v. You will get the particular version that you have installed inside your operating system. It means you can use the Node.js inside your operating system. So let's open the VS Code editor and we're going to create a project that will help us to run our Node.js. So I'm going to open my folder, open folder, select desktop and it has the node. So this is my folder name, Node.js. I would say terminal. Inside the terminal, I need to execute the simple command that I install or package which will help us to run the Node.js. I would like to use npm init and inside there you need to write the package name I'm gonna use termo and this is the version name by default is 1.0.0 I would say hit enter description whatever the description you will be add I'm gonna use default and this is the entry point file name like index.js but I'm gonna change it to use app.js Test command hit enter, git repository enter, 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 enter. Hit enter, you will get the package.json file. Inside the package.json file, your main entry file name is app.js. But before moving on that, I'm going to clear the screen and I will install packages which are help us to run the Node.js. Alright, so I would say app.js this is my file name which i have used on there as a my main file name so i'm going to install the package which are uh, used to run the node.js all right so i'm going to use npm install express by the way you can use without express uh, node.js but i'm going to use node.js package name is express by the way this is the framework all right so the package has been installed express 5.1.0 so i would like to use it and yeah so i'm going to use const express require express and then i'm going to use const app ascend express 
I will use app dot cat. This is my main path, and we would say hello world. And I would like to write simple thing const, not const. Yeah, I'm gonna use const port and by default it's 3000. I'm gonna use 3001. Add dot listen. I'm gonna passing the port. Run the function and I'm gonna I use simple things and so dot log at running on the port like this. Alright. When I will send the request, I will get the message hello world. So this is my path name. So I would say node and my file name at dot js. I'm getting app is running and this is my path name so what I'm gonna do on there I'm gonna use localhost 3001 hit enter I'm getting the word hello world and another thing is when I will change the data like hello world we are learning Node.js basic just use Node.js so I need to change the few things inside there to reload the page without refreshing, without changing anything else inside the code. So let's say I will execute one more time and I'm getting the updated version on my screen, uh, like 3001, right? But I would say I will update it automatically when I will change something inside the editor. So what I'm gonna do on there, I'm gonna install the package with the name of uh, node more so let's see how we can install and set up it so I'm gonna use npm install uh, what is name oh, okay um, node more hyphen hyphen global global means you need to install first time node moon after that you don't need to install node moon any of the node.js package or any node.js of project all right so what i'm going to do on there i'm going to install it and you need to set up a few things inside your project then you can change the code without refreshing a page just press ctrl s to update your code and you will get the updated version on your browser on your api whatever the uh, browser or editor you will be used on there all right so once you install it, so I'm going to clear the screen. The next step, you need to move on the package dot JSON, and this is a test. You need to use start whatever the text you will be use on there inside there. You need to use node mode app dot js like your main file name. Just save it, and you need to use node mode not node. Just use npm install. And there we go we are getting 3001 port just save it it will change automatically and i'm going to refresh my page the same thing but the cool thing is when i change the text this it has updated and my text also not updated yeah <laughs> this is updated let's try to use one more time i'm going to save the file refresh the page you don't need to write the again and again node chess and dot your file name so this video is all about how you can install and set up your first project inside your vs code it uh, i hope you understood as well all about it so thank you very much for watching have a nice day